Hello chess lovers Today uh, I'm gonna look at another uh, game by Eugenio Torre the Filipino chess grandmaster So this game is against Andrew Soltis It was played in 1975 in Cleveland, Ohio, USA. So the opening is Pierre Defense, burn variation with white pieces, Soltis, and Eugene Torre, black piece. Eugen Torre will be the winner in this game. So starting. Pier defense e4 d6. Early attack by the B pawn there by Torre. Threatening to capture the bishop. Bishop retreats. So, Torre chases the bishop. Bishop move again. And counter attack by Torre in uh, the center. White captures, black captures back, and it's another bishop move by Soltis. Soltis is chasing Torres Queen. Preventing the advance of the B4 pawn to the pawn on B4. Very useful, very useful pawn advance there by uh, by Tori. Threatens the knight, but Torre replies with threatening white queen. Finally, white castles. Black castles as well. So this starting out a battery there. And the D file. Forcing an exchange of bishop. Mm. 
story declines the bishop trade Threatening the queen. Threatening the queen again. And Tore just hides his queen. Talking the white knight. Yeah, white knight just got nowhere, no good square to go. Now at this point, white pieces are cramped. And it's Black's time to uh, dictate the uh, control of the center here. Rerouting his knight. Beautiful. White is trying to provoke a uh, knight exchange. Okay, block defense. other knight starts to uh, become active here mm -hmm. consolidating uh, forces there threatening a forking move on uh, f3 forking the king and queen so white captures captures as well check Interesting sacrifice here by uh, by Soltis. Yeah, let's see here. If Tori captures the bishop, captures the pawn with his bishop, there is a threat here by Soltis 
and so if queen captures the knight white can either capture the bishop or threat the queen like that with a free with a, a capture on the rook so let's see here that's where we left off so Tore declines the offer of the f pawn Now Tori starts to attack with his queen pawns, threatening the knight. The knight retreats and just continuously pounding with the pawn attacks. And the bishop comes out. Positions a battery continuing to push the pawn. So white captures, black captures back, and the knight is out again. There. That is Taurus' intention is to get a pawn there on uh, C3 in order for his rook to attack the queen. So now queen escapes and Consolidating his position with the battery. Defensive move. Okay, perfect time to capture the knight. Tucking the pawn. Deadly, deadly combination here now. He's got three uh, major officers on the battery there. So, white is on the defensive and captures the pawn. Reading his rock. So that is the real deal, the real move right here. We will see that this move is the resigning move. So after captures so he did not capture but then that's the resigning move that's the winning move so if let's analyze here if uh, back to that move okay so at this point if white takes the queen so Tori takes the queen back so now we see that Tori has 
a pass pawn in uh, the queen uh, queen rook side in the a file so <sighs> block tries to come closer Black attacks his pawns. King comes closer. Now. If Tori moves there. Shit. Because if he doesn't capture, the pawn will just continue queening. Let's save block. If he captures the pawn. When black captures and king comes close, and so white block with his bishop. So now. Just no way. There's just no way. So it's a force move. And at this point, Soltis is just stuck right here. Uh, any further move will just lead to a queen or a capture of his pawns. Beautiful, beautiful game by uh, Tori here. I hope you uh, like the video and uh, hope you learn something here. Uh, Tori just squeezed Soltis through uh, a good positional play. Good command of uh, his pawns on the queen side. Alright. Till next time. Take care. Cheers.